you don't have to pay, you don't have to compete, you don't have to pass a test. A library is there for everyone, and they're a mark of true civilization. So most people, if they recognize it, they'll be like, oh, that's that guy from University Challenge. But actually, my story for University Challenge begins a lot earlier, about decades before, in East Ham Library. And this, every Saturday, I used to come with my father, and we'd sit there for hours absorbing all sorts of information about the world, taking home 20, 30 books in a shopping trolley, back down the high street. And actually, on University Challenge, if it wasn't for that knowledge I'd built up East Ham Library, I wouldn't have had the public platform to share my love for learning and libraries that I have now. I'm over 80, so when I was a child and first went to the library, it was absolute dead silence and just books. And now, I mean, it's a whole world, really, isn't it? And the books are still there, and the books are wonderful. Art Diamonds is a project in Gateshead Libraries for people of retirement age, and it's all about bringing people together, reducing social isolation, but doing that through creativity. Digital inclusion has been so important and to everybody during lockdown, but I think particularly for people who are retired, it's made such a massive difference in helping people feel like they're still connected. For people who can't get out, there were wonderful classes online and the, the actual equipment to do them was sent to your very door like a pizza. <laughs> There was a time when we had a threat about libraries had to close and I know that in lots of places libraries closed but we fought for it and we actually have new ones. This project was particularly focused around children with special educational needs and, and disabilities. We worked with a local artist called, called Jenny Leonard and she was bringing groups of children and young people into the spaces, discuss their favourite books, their favourite themes, what, what they liked and then start to build up the images around the library. So from something like an underwater theme at Pollard's Hill, to a circus theme over at West Barnes, to this which is around different kind of fairy tales. And the first thing that struck me as I came in was how much more sensory engaging things they've got in the library, lots of light up things, bubble tube, fiber optic lights. And for the pupils that I work with, those are the kind of things that really engage them. What City of Culture has meant is that people in the city have been really open to working with artists. Our boat is registered as a scientific research vessel. It doesn't do scientific research, it does artistic research. We have a UK collection of short stories on board. Our collection is partly from Coventry Library, partly from Lancashire Libraries, and then we bought books to add to that. In the end, it's all just about holding a space where people are present and they slow down, like, we're super slow in there. And then you step back on land and you go back into the rush of the world. And I can't tell you how fast the world seems after you've been on the boat. The library van has been an absolute lifesaver over this, this past year and a half. Communities are getting split up where you haven't perhaps got the families all living together. Elderly people get left on their own, especially if they've retired to Cornwall and one partner passes away. That is very much our bread and butter. They've got families, but they like to be independent, so if the vehicle is in the village and they can go and get their own library books, they don't have to rely on anybody else to help them. The Business and IP Centre Norfolk, it's part of the British Library's national network of the IPCs, and we kind of offer free access to things like one-to-ones, workshops, business resources, having a place where people can go for free to access support, borrow books and to seek advice for their business is invaluable to all the community. Libraries are going to be incredibly important for our future. So if we think about economic recovery, these are places where the community can come for retraining, CV doctors, it's going to be crucial to people in these communities. My story isn't unique and shouldn't be unique. Libraries like East Ham, up and down the entire country, could inspire thousands of children across the country. Thank you.